Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's having a great Thursday. Well, I went to the thrift store today and I found a few things. I found this cute little box. It's got like a woven type rope edge around it. I know it's probably from, you know, Hobby Lobby or something. There's a name here. Oh, this from Pier 1. I'm sorry. Couldn't read it. But I just like the way it looked, and I'm not real sure what I'm going to use it for. But, yeah, I thought that was cute. Let me put that down out of my way. Then the other big thing that I found, I'll lay it sideways, was a sewing basket. And my grandmother had one similar, I mean, the whole style of this is exactly the way it was but you know it was a different cloth pattern and it's got like cloth all the way around it's got a nice little rope handle but yeah it was in fair good shape so yeah and it comes when you take off the lid it has a little drawer for spools of thread and then a flat thing and then you can take the little tray out and it just needs to be wiped out real delicately but I could tell it was old and I don't know if this went with it or not but see my mother's I don't remember this part I remember she had all her spools in the top you know so that they'd all fit like that she had one kind of like this as well and then there's that other great big plastic one. But yeah, I just thought that was kind of cool and decorative. Then, let's see, what else have we got in here? Oh, I found all kinds of little booty dads. I found some more buttons, of course. I'm just collecting buttons this year. Oops. Found some buttons. They're really small ones, like for, uh, what do you call it? Like collar buttons or whatever. But look, this one says 29 cents on it. I had to get that. Made in Japan. Made in Japan for Shiner, Shiner Block Company in Toronto. But yeah, I just thought they were cool. So we'll add them to my bag. I'm going to have to get another basket. And I found a bag that had some DMC floss in it. And they're marked. Just odds and ends of what people had. So I got that. Then I got this little bag. And there was some clear and some black thread. And there's little tiny seed beads in there and some needles um, those are sharps size 12 and one beading needle and there's a canister it doesn't have anything in it but a bunch of just little little stuff I don't know what was going on there but that looks like a craft project gone wrong or macrame yeah and then there's some purple wire in there as well so I just thought that was just interesting odds and ends and I could use them seed beads on whatever project I might get them out of there and put them in one of those containers in there let's see was there anything else I got oh there's another button Those are La Mode. Doesn't say when it was made. But it looks fairly old just by the size of the butt. And I got a bunch of silverware. And I think that was about it for the thrift store. I needed some silverware, so let me get this stuff out of the way. So then Molly and I proceeded to go to the... Um, post office 
and I got a package. I got Stitchy Kindness from my friend Ava. Whoops, I can't show the... Let me find it. We'll just... Oh, no. We'll use this. There we go. Great big package. And I'm going to have to straighten you out there. All right, let me see if I can get this open from one end or another. She got this taped really good. I love that sparkly, shiny. It's like duct tape almost. It's beautiful. Thank you, Ava. Let me see. Oh, what am I doing? Oh, my goodness. We need a bigger. Let me see if I can get this undone here. Oh, my goodness. She has sent me a kit. I can see it. Don't know what it looks like, but I see threads and canvas. Okay, let me get it out of this bag here. Ah. Oh, my goodness. This is a big old poofy couch. Oh, goodness gracious. Oh my goodness, that's a big, a big one. Okay, let me get that out of the way. Oop. Oh my goodness. She sent me a lovely big card here. It says... Oh, how funny. Well, thank you, Ava, Lily Bell, and Jonah. She is stitching in the interlake. She sent me a birthday card. But my birthday's in September, but that's fine. I'll take it. Oh, my goodness. Now we have another little card. Thanks. Oh, nice. She sent me some a beautiful little thank you note. I'll read that in its entirety. Aren't those cute? She lives in Canada. And I think those are neat. We're going to have to put them up somewhere. They're so cute. Oh, my goodness. Let me see if I can pull this out. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? It's 168 by 72. Holy cow, Ava. What the heck? Oh, look at the puppies. And they're all sparkly. Look, Molly. Puppies. She's up on the top of the, the her perch. Those are so cute. I love them. Okay, what is... Oh, this is the, uh, the thing. Oh, goodness. Everything's in between here. Let me see. Sorry for the crinkles. I'll make sure I get that back in there. Comes with needles and a uh, threader. I love them threaders. Oh, and she sent me a coffee crisp. Ooh, that sounds yummy. Mmm, dessert. I just ate chicken. Molly and I had chicken. Nice. I've never had candy from Canada. Maybe I did when I was little when I told you we went to Montreal. I don't remember. But, yeah. So, we'll just count this as now. Look, and it's in French. Oh, how cool. Nice. Thank, thank you. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. My goodness. I don't think that I can lay this out. But I will show you this beautiful picture. Isn't that just stunning? Just look at it. Isn't it just mm, to die for? I'm trying to get it so it doesn't like shine. You see, I move my mirror. I mean mirror. My light. <coughs> so it's pretty big. 72 by 168. Did you not want to do this, Ava? And it's an 11 count. 
It's gorgeous. I just sit there and look at it all day long. I almost bought one kind of like this. Almost. It's a good thing I didn't because this is gorgeous. It didn't have animals down here. It had something else, maybe trees or something. But it's just beautiful. Oh, my goodness. Where to start? And it has tons of colors. I'm trying to figure out just how many colors. There's your extra. You know we're going to have to start this. Yep. Has 51 colors. And I don't know what that or why that. I think you're supposed to use number 51 maybe. Let me look. Holy cow. And it has a nice plastic, um, what do you call it, chart? Never saw anything like this. Holy cow, it's huge. It's ginormous. But I was looking, I thought, yeah, you use 310 and 890 together for some of the stitches. Yeah, that's what I thought. Art, our story. But gorgeous, gorgeous threads. If I could just get them undone here. Whoops, something came undone here. We'll get it. Whoa, everything's collapsing on me. Okay, we'll go this way. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, pretty, pretty. Beautiful. Greens and browns and tans. And there's some more tan. And brown. And blue. And blues and oranges. Just lots and lots and lots. I don't know if you got to see all that. Just gorgeous. Oh. Yeah. Tons of thread. So you know it's big. I'm going to wrap that up. Let me see here. Because I don't believe that I can... Oh, there's two more needles. We'll just put them right there. But it's just gorgeous, and you can see it. It's just beautiful. I don't want to undo it. It's just beautiful. And huge. I don't know which side to start on, but... You know, we're going to start this today. Oh, because Laura stitches all the things. I've just got to. Well, thank you, Miss Ava, for the lovely stitchy kindness. Let me put this all back together. And I'm going to have to get it a bag because it ain't going to fit back in that other bag. Ain't happening. And I'm um, trying to think where I can put them. Maybe back there. All right, guys. So I will be back. And that's all I got from the thrift store. And... I will do a stitch with me and we'll start on this and we'll also have the drawing for the snowman I believe I'll be back all right I am back and I got this where it needs to be I got it rolled up at one end so we're starting right over in here and this isn't a full coverage it has some white areas just just tiny white areas here and there. I don't see a number there, so we won't be stitching for that. But we decided to start over here in that little corner and work our way that away. See what happens. I'm just going to put that underneath there. And I don't think this will be going any very far. It is, um, what do you call it? surged all the way around the edges all the way around which is nice since you're working on this big of a a project gotta get my thimble so yeah it's been a morning um yeah we went to the thrift store went to the post office then i had to go to the grocery store so i picked up chicken for dinner and lunch I just got an eight piece and that way I can just kind of go from there.
So I found a few things today at the thrift store. Not, not too terribly much. They didn't have. They had a whole bunch of books, but none of them were anything that I was interested in. And nothing to add to my collections of books. I collect uh, Preston and Child, and uh, Lisa. I think it's Lisa C S E E. And what else? Uh, Nora Roberts, of course. I've got over 150 of her books. But I keep adding to that. Nice sturdy needle. I like that part. Especially when I'm working with big canvas. This is just lovely, Ava. Just lovely. We send each other stuff all the time, back and forth. What I wish is that there was somebody else here to help me see, because this is a big one. It'd be so much fun to stitch on a great big frame and have a whole bunch of people stitching at one time. You could knock out one of these things. But, oh well. We'll just keep plugging along. But it's beautiful. It's just gorgeous. Thank, thank, thank you. It's kind of hard to see that. There's like a pink, a pink line or something there. I'd have to look it up. And it's kind of pale like this pale gray that I'm trying to stitch. So yeah, I was not real excited that I got, couldn't find anything at the thrift store. There's so many people in town and it gets picked over pretty quickly. And by the time I get there on Thursday, you know, Everything's pretty much gone. But I got some more thread and some more buttons to add to my collections. Oh, I got a... I don't know what I did with it. I got a great big huge jar at work that uh, jalapeno peppers came in that I'm going to use for putting buttons in. But I'm not going to take any off the cards. I've got to get a little bit bigger basket. Maybe I can use that wicker, well, wicker topped basket or box that I just got to m put some more buttons in. And I was looking for to see if they had, every once in a while they'll have those, I call them shaker boxes because I'm not real sure what they're really called. You can get them at, at Hobby Lobby and that kind of thing. And some you can get from the actual people that really, really make them really, really nice. Because I've seen other floss tubers have them. I was looking for a box kind of like that so that I could do a, some little ones to, uh, you know, put on the top. But haven't gotten that far. Haven't gotten that far. Oh my goodness, what a day. So I'm kind of pooped out. And When we started, it was like 68 degrees. And by the time we were finished, it felt like it was about 75 going on 80. So, yeah. So Molly and I came home, put on the air conditioning, and had our chicken for lunch. I don't want to miss those, but I guess we'll go back. There's two right there. So it's a really nice uh, canvas to work on. It's not too terribly thick. It's quite nice. Quite nice.
Didn't watch much on Netflix last night. I, oh, what do you call it? I watched, I watched, I listened to my uh, audiobooks. I'm listening to, um, what is it? Uh, I think it's called Old Bones by uh, Preston and Child. I'd listened to it before, but it's in my library, shall we say, at uh, Audible. So I thought, well, I'll just listen to that again because it was really good. Their books are just awesome. I like the way they're written. They're not, you know, specifically written for a man to read. It, they're just good. And keep you guessing. With a little bit of a uh, sci-fi in it, you know, just a touch. You know, it could be real. You know, it's kind of like Stephen King, you know. It could be really happen, you know. Or maybe, nah, just maybe might not. You know what I mean? Just weird. But I do like their books. They're awesome to read. I do have to get another thread, though. And I know this has nothing to do with Christmas. Did it have it snow? Yeah, there might be a little snow on the the mountains, but sorry about that, guys. What can I say? What can I say? We're just going off the grid today. What can I say? I I see a big one. I've got to start it. I just absolutely adore big, big, huge stitches. Gigantous. I'm totally in love with them. And push come to shove in the end, I can say that I've started them. Can't say that I've finished many. Not hardly any at all. Oh, come on now, Gray. There's one there, and then there's one someplace. Oh, maybe not. Well, that was crazy. I just didn't have enough thread to go that far. Go see any more. Oh, there's one right here. Make it almost worth being over here. Very nice thread. It's laying down just perfect. Just perfect. Hey, work on this today. I'm just kind of tired of looking at all my other stuff and, and work on something new. Maybe one time I'll do a whole week of working on nothing but big, big projects. Call them BBP instead of BAP. They are that, but mm, not so much. This thing is about, hang on, it's here somewhere. Got to get it out from underneath. It is the whole canvas itself. I don't even think it'd fit on my my roller, my scroll frame. Yeah, it might. It's 29 and a half inches across, which is 75. That's the whole canvas. The actual picture itself. Hold that thought. Is 25 and um, little over a quarter. 25 and a quarter. But I don't know that it's bigger. I can't, no. I I can't get out my scroll frame. I just, it just kills my back. I don't have the proper chair to sit in to work with or on a table. Just not happening. And it takes up three quarters of the couch if I do it. I have one that sits on the floor and then I have one that also would sit in your lap. But it's just too big. It just kills my arms to work with it. So I'm better off just doing it in hand.
Oh, for pity's sake. Do it twice in a row. Don't fix it, crazy girl. There we go. Now we gotta adjust the needle. Just kind of back it out, back it all the way down, and pull it across, and that way it gets untangled. Every once in a while, you just gotta let it dangle. Sure is a pretty colored tan. It's kind of nice and soft. Oh god dang it. Keep dropping it. Just a minute, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So let's have the drawing, and it's going to be for the Snowman Friends. It's called Snowman by uh, Joy Sunday. It's an 11 count, 32 by 23. And let's see. I got I'm turned upside down so you can see them. They're all in there. Everybody that put their name in. And we'll give it a, a toss. And I got a name. I'll lay it right there and put the lid on this so we don't spill it everywhere. I hate playing 52 card pickup. I used to hate that when kids did that. That was just mm, bad. So the winner of Snowman Friends is Evelyn De, is it DeArmond? Or Anmond. I can't read my own writing. But Evelyn DeAmond. Okay, my uh, email address is in the description box below. And if you could put your, or send me your shipping information, that would be really good. And I will get this out to you. So congratulations, Evelyn. Thank you for participating. I can get the plastic baggie open because if I don't put this in here right now, you know, we're just messed up. Okay, it's in the baggie, and the baggie is sealed. So for next Thursday, which will be the last of the two per week, because it'll be the last week of July, we're going to use Christmas Story by Joy Sunday. And it is 21 by 30. And it looks like it might be full coverage. I don't know. Let me pull it out of here. It has a lovely plastic bag it comes in. And it has 33 colors. And here is the little picture. It looks to be... Oh my goodness. Did I lose that already? Oh, here we go. The actual picture is nine, nine inches by six and a half. Yeah, it's just beautiful. And it is full coverage, but where is it? 
Shush. It is 14 count, and it's 90 by 126 high. Hey! Get down. I don't know who she thinks she is today. That's twice she's barked at somebody. So, for this one to be entered into this, uh, let's say... I'm looking. Uh, I want to say Christmas stories, but let's say story, just to make it easier. Do you uh, sit down with your kids or grandkids and tell the Christmas story, or do you read like the night before Christmas? Yeah, the night I had to think what that was actually called. Uh, it's been a day. So, put the word story and use it, you know, to tell me whether or not you read the Christmas story out of the Bible or you tell, you recite the, the poem, I believe it's a poem in it, called uh, Night Before Christmas. Or if you've seen the Night Before Christmas, or... The Christmas story about the kid and his BB, Red Ryder BB gun. I couldn't stand that movie, but, you know, the kids thought it was great. <coughs> <coughs> oh, goodness. I have talked too much, and it's still smoky here. It's just horrible. I wish it had just pour rain and get all the smoke out of the air. Wouldn't that be nice? So, put the word story into your comments below and I will put you into the drawing for this beautiful little cross stitch 14 count 21 by 30 it's not very big has lots and lots of detail that would be gorgeous in like a 16 by 20 wouldn't it just just yeah I could just see it it's always got to be big right but and Evelyn congratulations if you can get a hold of me through my email, which will be below, that will be great. Yeah. And I think that's going to be it for today, guys. I'm going to continue working on that. So I've got to get my threads together here. I don't know what's going on. but All right. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great rest of your day. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Please hit the bell, and that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe. Stay healthy. God bless. We'll see you tomorrow. Keep stitching. Bye-bye.